guys want to rip open packs in my team and don't know where to get cheap MT or even have dreamed about building that god squad but never had enough my team currency to do it, make sure to go check out www.mtstacks.com. They are by far the cheapest and most reliable website to buy my team currency from and as well if you want an additional 5% off at checkout. Make sure to use code JC, link to their website will be down in the description. Yo, are you in need of the new events clothing glitch or as well the mascot glitch on your own player without even being an elite three? Make sure to go hit up JC the plug on Twitter or Instagram because we are currently plugging everyone up with this glitch and make sure to use code JC for 5% off your next purchase. Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy JC and I'm back with another video for y'all today and in this video I'll be showing you guys how to get yourselves free unlimited shoes in NBA 2K20. Now there is one thing that I should say before we get into this video is now that I said that this is free shoes, you do actually need 10,000 VC for the first fee and then everything else is free. Like I said, I'll be showing you guys throughout the video how to do this, but I just wanted to let you guys know ahead of time, just get 10,000 VC if you guys do not know how to get 10,000 VC, watch my VC glitch, go to my channel, check it out, everything, and as well, before we start the video, you guys have been crushing these goals recently, and there will be a gift card coming up, so be ready for that, but if you guys do want a PSN gift card for tomorrow's video, the requirements for this video is 75 likes, which I know you guys can easily do and as well 20,725 subscribers so 30 subscribers away from that as well i'm giving you guys an easy one right here free gift cards every single video i got y'all with that and enough of the talking let's get straight into this video okay so the first step is you're going to go in and check your endorsements to see what shoe brand you do have because that is going to be a very significant part of this glitch but after you check that and you know what brand you're using go back quit to the main menu go to settings and you're going to click in the features and go to your shoe deals and you're going to select the brand that I just told you to go check in your endorsements and you're going to take a look at that brand now once you see that brand you're going to click on it and it shows all the shoes you have now you're going to choose one of the shoes right now and you're going to edit the shoe how you would like to use it for yourself you're going to make sure it's nice and everything but don't worry if you mess up on a part that's for a further step but after that you're going to name the shoe a specific thing you want one two three four perhaps in this video but once you know you saved your shoe then you can exit out and you're going to load back up into the neighborhood after loading back up into the neighborhood you're going to run all the way over to the shoe store so once you get to the 2k shoe store you're going to go in and look at all the shoes you have you're going to go to your specific company and you're going to find your shoe there so you're going to click the brand and you can see the name that you titled it so if you titled it something like one two three four like i did it will show up like that one two three four and you'll click on that shoe and this is where you have to pay your 10,000 BC and that's the only payment you'll need to pay for this whole entire video so on the screen you'll see me I'm about to pay my 10,000 BC and make sure once you are about to buy these that you have them on you're wearing them and you are going to equip them out of the store that's a very important part of this because if you don't have them equipped then stuff might not work. So once you're leaving the store, the next step you are going to want to do is go into your settings and you're going to check if your shoe is on. So once your shoe is officially on, you know everything's working, you can go ahead and quit and go to the main menu. Now once you're in the main menu, you're going to head back into features, you're gonna go to shoe, and you're gonna select your brand that you started with for me it's Jordan you're going to scroll down to your shoe and you're going to delete it this is if you want to change up your shoes now if you want to keep that shoe go ahead and keep it but for now on this is the part of the video you're just gonna repeat right here you're just going to go back to the main menu home screen and you can edit your shoes up and change your shoe to whatever you want it to be in that specific brand for Jordans so as you 
can see we have the Air Jordan 1s. We're editing them up. We're going to title the shoe specific thing since we already deleted our last one. And we're going to go back into the neighborhood. And you'll see that the shoe is going to be there. And it's the same shoe we just edited. So basically, if you don't make a good shoe, you can always scrap it and make a whole nother one. Let me repeat the steps again. You're just going to go to the main screen. You're going to click features, go into your shoe. You're going to delete the shoe that you made prior to this. And then you're going to make a whole nother shoe you want to make and put on your player. You're going to save it. You're going to name it. And then you're going to log back into the neighborhood where you will have the shoe. So that's pretty much it for this video on the glitch part. Let me make more shoes for you. I'll just show you some shoes that Premiere made. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Make sure to hit a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new. I don't know why I said hit a like, but make sure y'all hit a like. But yeah, so I'm just going to be making shoes in the background for y'all. Hopefully this really did help you out. Feel free to comment down below if you did have any questions about this because I'll be able to answer all your questions about this because I know how to do it. It's just 2K didn't want me to do it for some reason. I had my shoe brand already, but they wouldn't let me customize my own shoes. So right here, there's just going to be a lot of shoes made. And in the near future, I'm looking if there is a closed glitch out, but currently all closed glitches are fake. People have posted fake closed glitches. I checked it out, tried it, and it does not work. So make sure y'all don't fall for that stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.